Hi everyone, this is Leah again. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to let you know I am going to paint this bag, Coach Rogue 25. It's made from Napa leather. As you can see, the leather is already peeling on the corner. It turns white. And this is going to be my first project. I hope it will turn out beautiful. I will show you step by step how it's uh, going to be done. And I'll talk to you uh, a little bit and also at the end. So this is what I prepared to paint my purse. Let's go over one by one. The Angelus number 600 acrylic finisher, the leather prepper and deglazer, the acrylic leather paint and it's in the color purple. That's what I chose for my bag and a small container so I can pour the paint over here. The wool dauber, I bought this from Amazon and this is what I'm going to use, you know, as a device to paint the leather. A couple of rags, um, uh, what is it, the gloves and some paper towel, just in case I spill something. And uh, from now on, I'm, I'm not going to uh, say anything. I'm just going to uh, show you how, how is the progress and how it, it is done. Thank you, everyone. I'll talk to you at the end of the video.
okay we will see if i like the um the side pink instead of purple so i'm going to remove this uh, this is the end results of the purple color the purple paint all right let's see Mm -mm. I think I make a lot of mistakes here. I might have to paint this because as you can see, the pink paint is, some of them are peeling because of the tape. So I might have to paint this with this pink. I have to find a mauve color if I like this or otherwise I have to paint purple. And let's see on the other side. Yep, it's the same thing. Let's see, you can see. So do not tape your bag, everyone because this is what's gonna happen sorry so uh, let's see if i should paint the side uh pink or purple i think i have to paint this purple because uh, I don't like it. The side is all pink or mauve. So I will come back once I'm done with the sides, everyone. Uh, I will update you soon once this project is done. So I finished painting the front, the sides, the back and the bottom. Now, the pink side of the bag, like this handle, the, the original paint was removed, some of them, because of the tape that I put, as you can see. So I am going to paint that with mauve color. I already deglazed, de uh, this pink part and I'm going to use mauve color and I'm going to show you the results after I'm done. This step I'm going to show how I am planning to remove the paint from the rivets. As you can see the rivets you know also got painted when I paint the leather. So I am using the rotary tool. You can buy this in hardware store. In this case, I bought this uh, on Amazon. So I'm just going to show you uh, a little bit how I do it because this is gonna take forever. As you can see, there are probably a thousand of rivets there. So I'll show you just a few uh, reflects how I'm going to do this and hopefully it will turn out great. And this time everything looks purple, all the rivets, uh, you cannot see the shine uh, from the rivets. Okay, so just gonna show you a few, a few of them. can start seeing the shine of the rivets and um, 
I have to be careful making sure it doesn't get to the ladder. Otherwise, the paint on the ladder will also get removed. So there you go, there are four of them that you can see. This. Okay. Alright, I will talk to you once I'm done with this step. Hi everyone, so this is the final results for my project. And as you can see, uh, the rivets show in much better shine after I did that um, pulsing. Anyway, um, as you can see, the hang tag and the close and also the strap, I did not paint it the same as the handle. And that is for a reason. I wanted to match the clots on the zipper there, uh, the pink zipper cloth that is in lighter pink than the handle. So, so let me know if I should paint the hang tag and the crochet the same as the handle or just leave it to match with the zipper cloth. Anyway, um, I think I'm satisfied with my project here, the result. Even though it's not perfect, you know, this is my first project and I'm pretty happy with the results. Uh, now it's one of a kind rogue to me and, ye and that can, cannot be found anywhere with this color. Uh, and also, once I put, I'm sorry, my hand is tired. Once I put that last step, uh, what, what do you call it, number 600 uh, Angelus, is actually a little bit shinier than before, but it's not overwhelming. All right, everyone, let me know what's your opinion, and I appreciate you watching through all those uh, uh, long videos, and I'm going to talk to you next time. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.